guys, welcome back to my channel. So I don't know if you knew this, but there's kind of like a um, pandemic going on right now. So I'm sure that everybody here is going through the exact same thing. Um, we're all in this together. I haven't done anything in like a year and like a few months. I haven't been to a restaurant. I haven't gone to any parties, obviously. I literally haven't been to a mall. The only thing that I do is go to work and I go to the grocery store and sometimes I'll go to Starbucks. You know, just the um, essentials, obviously. Yeah, so a lot of that got me thinking about all the stuff that I miss doing. And I mean, obviously I'm very, very grateful that I am in the position that I am where like, the only things that I have to worry about are like work and stuff and I'm really grateful that I can still go to work and obviously like all the blessings that I do have I'm super grateful for but it still really sucks for everyone right now. This is a horrible time. I never thought that I would be experiencing anything like this in my lifetime. Like what is even going on? Literally, I've been asking myself that every single day of every single minute of every single day for the past year and a few months, what is happening? So I thought, you know, everybody's getting vaccinated. Um, we're kind of getting to the point where we can kind of see the finish line in the distance. Hopefully, maybe I'm hoping for fall. I'm really hoping that by fall, things will at least be like, like more normal, you know? Um, I'm tired of washing my hands all the time. I'm tired of the sanitizer. I am tired of cleaning everything. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so. Basically, I thought today I would just kind of talk about my post-pandemic bucket list because there are tons of things that I would like to do that I currently cannot do and haven't been able to do for the longest time and I'm super excited that soon we will be able to do these things again. So I just wanted to make a list of all the things that I'm excited for so we can get pumped because life will be good again, guys. It'll be good again. So. Let's talk about it. Number one on my bucket list, the thing that I'm excited to do again is go to restaurants. I know that restaurants have been open and stuff. I personally have been, I mean, a little bit more overly cautious on the overly cautious side. I mean, obviously still really good to be cautious. I'm just a super cautious person and this whole thing has really taken a toll on me mentally. I have not been to a restaurant because I just don't feel like I could enjoy myself. You know, just I'm a stress case and I just wouldn't be able to have a good time. So I haven't been to a restaurant since March of last year, which is so long, especially because I love going to restaurants. So once this blows over, I will be going to a restaurant ordering sides, appetizers, the most expensive thing on the menu, please, and drinks, everything. I will be treating myself, going out with my friends, treating them to, um, hey everyone, shots on me, because I'm so excited to go to a restaurant again. And I never thought I would be saying that in my life ever, but uh, here we are. Number two of things that I'm excited to be able to do again is go to concerts. Oh my goodness. I have not felt the rush of excitement and just like vibes for so long. You know, like that feeling that you get after you go to a concert and everything is just great. Like the food you have after, everything just tastes great. Everything is great. You're just in such a good mood on that like post-concert high and everything is just freaking awesome. I wanna feel like that again. Um, I want to feel something again, please. I wanna feel something. I'm so excited. Like I cannot even imagine seeing someone in person again, being with like tons of people and not like thinking about germs or like anything, you know, and just like having a good time, not thinking about anything. Oh my gosh, literally, please. Um, I want to go to the Harry Styles concert that I was supposed to go to and never got a chance to go to. I would like to go to that, please. So um, <laughs> everyone can just pick up the pace here. That would be cool. Third thing that I'm excited to do again is go to movie theaters. I know that's a really weird, I feel like thing, but I just, the, the choice of being able to go sit in a theater, you know, eat your extra buttered popcorn with that delicious fake butter on top. Um, 
pro tip, taking a bag of M&Ms and putting it into your hot popcorn makes for like an out of this world amazing thing. You have to try it. I want to be able to sit in the seats and have a good time and just for some reason, every time I go to the movie theater, I just like have to pee so bad, like throughout the movie, like literally five times. I don't know what it is. They put something in the drinks that they give you. I don't even care. I want to feel like that again. Give me that. I don't care if I have to miss half an hour of the movie from peeing. I just want to go to a movie theater and watch a movie in the movie theater again. The fourth thing that I want to do, I want to go to a house party again. I'm sorry, I do. I mean, I was never like a huge drinker like before this anyways, or like partier, you know? But it's really nice to be able to have the choice if you want to go, you know? Like, at least I was declining invites before. Now I'm not even getting them because they're not even happening. Except by stupid people, but that's another story. Yeah, I would really love to go to a house party or even like order a drink at a restaurant. I turned 19 last year, which is the legal drinking age in British Columbia, Canada, where I live. And I haven't ordered a drink in a restaurant. I haven't been to a bar. I haven't done any of the legal drinking activities that you could think of. The most exciting thing that I've done is I've gone to a liquor store and purchase something for myself, which I mean, I don't even have any friends to drink it with, so what's the point, am I right? Yeah, so that would be nice if we could do that again. Um, if we could get to the point where that would be a thing, that would be cool. I want to go to a theme park. Listen, what I would give to go to the Pacific National Exhibition and eat some funnel cake, go on some rides, the atmosphere, you know what I'm saying, beach party, what I wouldn't give, what I would give, what, like, why? I want to go there so bad and just like sitting on those gross, disgusting theme park rides that probably haven't been cleaned in who knows how long, okay? And I don't want to think about that. I don't want to worry about that. The thing that I want to worry about is how long is this line going to be because I am excited and that is what I want to be worrying about. I have not been since 2019 and it is time to go again. Fright Night, if any of my British Columbians or anyone who goes to the peony, Fright Night, that is my sh I love Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, Halloween parties. I want to dress up. I want to look cute. I want to have a reason to dress up. Not even for Halloween, just in general. Dressing up and doing something. I don't care what it is if I'm just going to the mall. That's another one. Ding, ding, ding. I want to go shopping. I want to try on clothes. I want to wander through the mall without a mask. Drinking my coffee. I want to go to a bookstore. Drinking a cup of coffee in the bookstore. Just walking down, you know, the aisles. Picking up books. Flipping through them. Your Starbucks in hand. Life is good. No masks to be seen in sight. By the way, like, I'm not an anti-masker at all at all. I wear my mask all the time, everywhere. It would just be nice to not have to wear it again, you know, to be safe and not wear it. That's what I would like. Another thing that would be really nice to do, I don't think I'm asking for a lot. I'd like to hang out with my friends again, properly though. Um, so I moved away right before the pandemic hit, eight hours away from all of my friends, and I have seen them once because I had to go back down there to dispute a <clears throat> traffic ticket. Oh, that's another story. So I haven't seen them since then, but it wasn't even like a real hangout. We were in a parking lot, socially distanced, so it wasn't real. I want to give them a hug. I miss hugs. Um, I would love to do that. That would be so much fun. I miss normal things so much. I'm sure everyone does, but I just, I miss my friends, guys. I would really love to travel. I got my passport 2019, um, like the fall of 2019. I was supposed to be traveling to go visit my sister who lives in California. Um, and that didn't happen because Miss Rona decided to come to the party and we, girl, love you. Please leave. Please, your stay, you are, have overstayed. You're welcome. We get it, we got it. Go away now. Thank you. No offense. No offense, girl. 
But yeah, um, I'd love to travel again. I haven't really done any traveling in my life and I'd really like to do that and I'd really like to do it with normalcy. I know that as soon as I turn this camera off, I'm gonna think about like 50 other things that I would really like to do right now. So instead of me going on another rant, I would like you guys to leave a comment below of something that you just miss doing and that you are so excited to be doing again once the world goes back to normal, okay? I want you to leave a comment, like the video if you want, and if you're feeling fancy, you can hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you next Tuesday. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe, wear your mask, get vaccinated as soon as you can, and just be kind to people. This is a really hard time. So if somebody is having a bad day and being a jerk to you, I want you to be nice back to them because maybe they need it. And even though it sucks that they're being a jerk to you, maybe you can spread some joy and happiness instead of just carrying on that vicious, horrible, rudeness cycle. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>